In this lesson, I'm going to show you the technique, in my opinion, the best technique to improve the highlights and shadows on the image. The beginning will be the same as before. We need to create two curve adjustment layers, one for highlights, of course, in luminosity blending mode, and the other for shadows. Before I tried to split this through image and apply image, but if you're looking for more dynamic highlights, I would go with select and color range. Few words about color range, you can have a look how it looks like. So simply you can choose few colors, different colors, and they represent the range of the color. For example, if I choose red, you can see in the mask how red is represented on the image. If I choose blue, you can see how the blue is represented. Also, the great feature in color range is highlights, midtones, and shadows. So I'm going with highlights. And what I'm looking for, first of all, increase the range to maximum. And about the feather, go th with this to the point where your highlights will be the way you want to make them visible. To me, the fuzziness will be around 60, 70% in this case, and I'm going to hit OK. So first of all, I'm going to increase the curve just to improve the highlights. And you can have a look before and after. I don't want to really overdo the highlights because they were really uh, nicely visible already before. So just soft improvement for the highlights. And then for the shadows, I'm going to make it a little bit different because I'm afraid if I would go with shadows right now, they would be a little bit too dark. So I'm going to select color range. And once again, I'm actually going to work with highlights just to increase the range and hit OK. I'm going to invert this layer mask and I'm going to drag it down for the shadows. If it's too strong, of course, I would just lower the opacity maybe to 50%. Going to have a look how it works. It uh, looks quite solid right now. The highlights are also nicely improved. So that was a very simple way, a little bit more selective than the one before. And the shadows and highlights are really well improved. The model is standing out and the image itself is much more dynamic than was before. So now finally we are ready to jump into the color part.